Greetings, Captcha here, and this is Red Shadow Legends Free to Play Challenge for 2024. Challenge is powered by Hell Hades crew. Yeah, and we are currently on day 20, login of the day. So today I got another uh, epic book, which is great. Okay, so what is the main update for today? Yes, yeah, so big milestone. So this is uh, this is the day when I got another uh, six star. This six star is Bellower, according to the plan. And so that's very good. Um, so we had a lot of energy because uh, new uh, week started in terms of clan shop. So in the clan shop there is uh, there was energy so i already burned all energy here uh, so this is additional 1000 energy so i've saved my coins uh, coins from the previous week because there were chickens i'm not buying chickens then here uh so only energy and some bros to to speed up training uh, yeah that and another source of energy was uh, the clan rewards so yeah, so we reached the last milestone already, uh, so another epic uh, book uh, came in, so that's perfect. But in terms of results, I think we don't have any chance. Uh, the the um, clan on the other side is much more advanced. Uh, they are getting a lot of rewards from spider, right? So probably they are farming spider, a lot of rewards from uh, demon lord. Yeah, so generally we don't have a chance uh, in this competition, but that's fine. Um, yeah, so that's the sources of energy and yeah, and another one, the general, the, so there was accumulation of energy. Uh, on day 19, I uh, got uh, this additional 500, so a lot of energy to burn yesterday. And that's why I speed up a little bit process of training. Yeah, so below where is uh, 6 star. Okay, so and let's take a look to the uh, tournament, uh, which I was mentioning in the previous episode. Uh, so my plan was to reach the final uh, milestone on this tournament and I did that easily, generally. So I got additional uh, legendary book, which went to Ratalos. I will uh, show it in, in a second. And currently I'm on the third position. So those two guys, they are doing pretty good work. And so I hopefully will be able to finish at the third position to get this additional uh, epic book. So that will be the plan. So. I'm just training uh, chickens uh, for the next upgrade. Yeah, um, so that's fine. And blower, blower six star with one blessing. That's good. In terms of skill, he's fully booked. Uh, I've even got uh, one star of this blessing. So I choose phantom touch for this additional hit with damage. Um, Besides that, no masteries, so that will be next uh, step in my plan. Uh, so what is how how I build him? Uh, so currently he's pretty fast, 187. Uh, so initial build for him, and I decided to run some fire knight yesterday using uh, the energy that I get. Uh, to get some uh, stun set um, artifacts to complete the stun sets uh, on hi for him. Uh, yeah, so that's how it looks. So let's take a look quickly to the items. So yeah, let's check check all my stun items. So I got only those, but uh, with speed I got only like three or four but some of them are duplicates in terms of part of uh, the yeah, armor. Uh, so that's my best uh, weapon, so without speed. Uh, this one rolled pretty fine with uh, two speed uh, upgrades, so 10 speed plus one from the glyph. This shield was promising, but unfortunately nothing went to the speed. That's sad <laughs> to tell you. Uh, but yeah, six is better than nothing. Um, 
And we got some crazy attack percentage gloves from uh, speed set, but uh, speed here, 14 additional speed is, is good. Uh, pretty crappy uh, chest plate, so of course <laughs> none of the rolls uh, went to the speed and base that, uh, so this flat attack is also not the great uh, in terms for the general survivability for this champ. Yeah, and I got uh, five star speed boots from campaign. And that's the build. Because uh, here's the ring with HP and some attack and defensive uh, am amulet. Nothing crazy. I've got here Ogryn Tribe. Uh, this from this uh, new uh, Ratalos set uh, amulet with attack and crit damage. Probably I will exchange it later, but need to first figure out do I need more survivability or more defense that, that, that's the uh, question here yeah so that's his build uh, so this speed allows him with the Deacon Aura uh, to uh, attack twice mostly in many places um, yeah but I would like to um, put Put more, more, more speed like 200 minimum uh, to 220 uh, to be sure that uh, he's able to uh, attack twice uh, in each wave that I'm dealing with. Yeah, uh, what is the plan for masteries? I'm thinking uh, about uh, defense tree and to reach uh, the fearsome prisons. So this will give additional 5% for the stun and, and that will be the main purpose uh, for this champ. So, uh, so for sure that, I'm not sure where should I go on the offense or support, we need to figure out uh, which will be better. Uh, I think on the offense side you got this mastery which will increase the speed uh, for each enemy killed, so maybe this is something that I could use just speed him even more or on the support side we have something similar uh, yeah, but uh, for the dead allies uh, so, so something like that yeah <clears throat> so the two two options so he need to be fast and to land those speeds so currently this is 18 uh, percent so uh, with this uh, additional mastery uh, it will go to 23 percent which is pretty decent Okay, um, so that that that's fine. Okay, and uh, yeah, and because uh, uh, I already used him in a few places, so I managed uh, to push Doom Tower to level fifty. Uh, I'm not able to beat uh, second uh, stage with Griffin, uh, so he's hitting uh, too hard generally. But maybe later. But generally, those ways were pretty tough. Uh, a lot of crowd control and different stuff was happening there. So if Bellower land his uh, stun, it was much much easier. Uh, I think uh, the way forty two, yeah, floor forty two is pretty tricky. Uh, so maybe let's do a quick demo. So that's the team that I was using. I haven't used him. Uh, uh, was using here even Rataros uh, because it's poorly built uh, so far, but yeah, probably he can do something. Uh, so, so uh, survivability from um, uh, Toragi, uh, some two meter manipulation from uh, Mordecai, and also Digon. So, damage dealer is Atel only, and so this crowd control with uh, stuns from Bellower. So let's quickly check uh, if I will be able to pass even a first uh, wave. So the most, the biggest threat is uh, this guy in the red. I'm not sure what his name. So he's uh, retaliation. Uh, he's doing retaliation every time he, someone hit, hit him. So the stuns. Uh, if he he will be stunned, so he will not retaliate. So generally that, that's the benefit. So a few stuns already landed. So they cannot do much, uh, and Deacon and Mordecai, they are man manipulating those two meters. Also, Atel and Deacon got this additional mastery, which 
is uh, pushing back to the meter. Okay, one stun. So sometimes more stuns uh, I saw, sometimes less. Pretty uh, big RNG. Yeah, but this waves is generally stopping a lot of players to push further um, into uh, the Doom Tower, what I saw. Uh, and I saw, I see that in the other co uh, content creators that trying to push uh, dungeon, uh, Doom Tower. Unfortunately, uh, Belower is already down, so probably this will be a fail. So th that's how more or less this looks like. I'm sure if we'll be able to do the, uh, deal with this wave, it looks tricky. Maybe, maybe. Okay, two. It should be fine if this big tree guy will not interrupt. Okay, that should be fine. Yeah, so the fir first go went to uh, was looking fine. So some stance uh, in, in your um, composition, team composition will help a lot with dealing with such a uh, tough waves and content of the game. Yeah, so gen that will be the plan for uh, most of my dungeons. So according to my plan, Ratalos will be the next six star. Uh, which will happen in a few days, I ho hopefully, if there will be no <laughs> distractions. Um, yeah, so it will be Deacon with the Speed Aura, uh, DPS from Atel, not the biggest, but uh, it is what it is, of uh, Lifesteal uh, set. Uh, so survivability and uh, crowd control in um, the Provoke which is currently booked uh, fully uh, after getting those additional epic books. So A2 is booked fully and A3 also. So ally protection on Fritter cooldown, so which is genius generally. Um, yeah, uh, so below her with some st uh, mostly stuns, but also some additional debuffs if possible and some damage. Yeah, and Retalos, so that will be my top five. Uh, for most of the dungeons and so let's quick take a look to the calendar so according to the announcements so on day 30 there will be uh, a team hey Hedis will do as some kind of snapshot of the leaderboards and they will store the uh, current uh, situation at that point and based on the placement we will get getting additional points right so currently we are then day 20 so i think on day 24 i should be able to build ratalos to six star and then i will have like here some energy is coming that's good uh, so i'll be here uh, for the next three days probably uh, farming masteries for uh, three of them so ratalos Belower, and toragi so those three uh, need masteries and then I will have like three days or two uh, to push dungeons to the max so that will be my plan uh, to get the most uh, points for, for the team and try to win maybe <laughs> yeah so if you have any questions or suggestions if I should change my plan or uh, build someone else instead of Ratalos which I don't think so. Um, yeah, please let me know in the comments. Uh, don't hesitate and hit the like and subscribe. And yeah, and see you on the next one. So cheers.